The Trump Organization and Alan Weisselberg, the CFO, are facing a number of charges. Yesterday on the show, we didn't have the details, but now we do as well as updates coming from the Trump family and others in the Trump inner circle. So the Trump Organization was charged yesterday with running a 15 year scheme to help its executives evade taxes by compensating them with fringe benefits that were hidden from the authorities. Bear in mind, fringe very much from the perspective of a wealthy person, this is a lot of money. It's not fringe for us. When I get free ramen at work, that's fringe. For them, it's cars and you know college educations and stuff like that. So what are the 15 charges that they're facing? Well, there's one count of scheme to defraud in the first degree, one count of conspiracy in the fourth degree, one count of grand larceny in the second degree. There's all sorts of degrees, um, some of them were unpaid for. Uh, four counts of criminal tax fraud in the third degree, four counts of offering a false instrument for filing in the first degree. No word if it's a guitar or what, I'm not sure. Four counts of falsifying business records in the first degree. And that is of course on top of the charges we knew about yesterday, uh, which includes uh, Alan Weisselberg, who Trump once praised for doing quote, whatever is necessary to protect the bottom line of avoiding taxes on $1.7 million in perks. So he as an individual is facing uh, quite a few charges. The organization also facing quite a few charges. So it's a lot coming down the road. I don't know how significant it's gonna be, Jeff. And actually, I, I haven't. Uh, I don't know what your thoughts are on this. How significant do you think this is? Is this a nothing burger or a different type of burger? Well, it's definitely a different type of burger, I would say. Uh, as far as whether or not it will actually go after Donald Trump, Again, there's a reason that they call him Teflon Don. A lot of this stuff generally doesn't stick to him. And so what I see is gonna happen is Weisselberg, I think he's gonna take the fall. If this happens to end up leading to some prison time or fines, Donald Trump's gonna complain about it. He's gonna go, well, he can't go on Twitter, but he's gonna blog about it like it's 2005 <laughs> on his GeoCities site or whatever he's got, but ultimately, I don't think anything is going to end up sticking because we live in America. In America, we don't punish people who break these kinds of laws, white collar mm -hmm. criminals. We just don't. Yeah. yeah. Do you think, so obviously that, that's, that's my general stance to this as well. I wonder though mm -hmm. if the desire to at least try to get Trump might lead them to be forced to take seriously what Alan Weisselberg might have done. Like maybe we'll get him. Like. If there wasn't Trump, if it was just Weisselberg, I question whether these charges would have been brought. I guess I overlap with Trump's lawyers in saying that. Not to say that they're made up, they're fake, they're trying to get him to lie or whatever. But would they actually look into it? Is this, have they managed to find the only company in New York City that's not paying taxes, whether on fringe benefits or otherwise? I sort of doubt that, but what do you think? I just don't have any faith. I don't really have any any faith in the system because we've seen you you remember the Panama Papers, right? You mm -hmm. remember people getting away with you know billions of dollars of, of, of avoiding taxes and tax fraud. You think they're actually going to go after Donald Trump for something like this? Someone will obviously end up paying for this, and likely it will be Weisselberg, maybe a couple of other people within maybe. the Trump Organization. But members of the family, I just I just don't have any faith. That we're going to ever have any sort of justice in this case. Yeah, yeah. Well, as I've been saying for a long time with the audience, please don't invest any of your spirit into the idea that you'll see one of them in an orange jumpsuit. It's probably not going to happen, no matter how warranted or merited it might be. In it's any like, event, I want to give you a little. Oh, sorry. Continue. I was going to say it's it's like investing in something like Dogecoin. Don't do it. You're going to lose. Mm -hmm. It's going to be exactly. you're going to be very very sad. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.